I thought that sounded cool. Maybe I'll catch on. Let's see. How's everybody doing tonight? It's uh, good. Uh, I just I just moved into an apartment, uh, so I've got a kitchen now, which means uh, I've become an avid consumer of Hamburger Helper, which uh, it turns out uh, is a food. I always thought it was a nonprofit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be really hungry once I stop being nauseous. <laughs> so, um, so I want to talk to you guys about uh, what I think is probably one of the best concepts ever thought of by human minds. Uh, I'm talking about dibs. Uh, not the, not the chocolate-covered ice cream, but the, the word. The end-all be-all of ownership disputes. That supersedes warranty, or receipts, or, or deeds to land, or custody. It's great. It's probably my favorite thing. It's the law of the land. You, you call dibs and it's yours. Um, and it, my favorite thing about dibs is how versatile it is. It goes by different names. It's very popular among uh, people who like to sit down. For example, shotgun is just dibs on the front passenger seat of a car. Uh, fives is dibs on a chair you're no longer sitting in, but you want to make damn sure you get to sit in it again <laughs> from whatever you were doing. Um, you can even call dibs in relation to a person. Uh, see a hot girl at a party, it doesn't matter. She could have a boyfriend, she could have no interest in you. If you call dibs on her, she has to sleep with you. <laughs> Or so I've been told. Um, yeah, dibs is even a founding principle of this country. I don't know if you know that, but I mean, back then they called it Manifest Destiny. <laughs> so, uh, guys, I don't know if you know this, but uh, last month, the University of Maryland won a basketball game against Duke. That's a reasonable response, right? Like, that's a reasonable level of excitement. There was a riot on campus because, you know, no, not like, oh, well, I mean, the basketball players who worked really hard to win the game, they went out and celebrated. Okay. The entire university didn't win that basketball game, guys. I don't think it's appropriate to celebrate something that you had no part in accomplishing. Like, oh shit, I just heard uh, my best friend got an A on an exam. I'm gonna go out and headbutt the next guy. So. Like, holy shit, like, what, what is going on? Are we that bored? You know what people used to riot about? Like, when a dictator would get overthrown. We, like, oh, some guy who goes to the same school as us won a local sporting event. Fuck, let's go, let's go light a couch on fire. <laughs> the next day, I got a Facebook invitation uh, to a rally against police brutality. A rally against police brutality. Um, two things. First of all, you, you know, the, the argument is, well, not everyone who was out there was, was rioting. Okay, but, you know, not, a, you know, not everyone who, who goes... You don't go outside when it's fucking raining... Glass. <laughs> People are gonna get beat up. It's a riot. Jesus Christ. Like, you don't blame the fucking bulls when you stand in front of them at the running of the bulls. <laughs> and second of all, can you imagine being a police officer in College Park for a second? Can you imagine, like, I'm a college student and I hate college students. Can you imagine how much anger these guys must harbor for us? Like, whoa, we're in college, we have rich parents, let's party and not care about responsibility. And then the call comes in, guys, there's a riot going on. Grab your gear, it's judgment day. <laughs> you get, in the name of protecting the peace, you can beat the shit out of any drunk asshole you see. That must be like Christmas for them. They were out there like fucking, like 300. It was, it was... <laughs> Douchebags will blot out 
the sun. Tonight, tonight we dine in College Park. Holy shit. Oh my god. We're gonna rally for police brutality. I, um, I turned 21 uh, this year. So uh, I got to I got to go out to the bars for the first time because uh, I've never owned a fake ID, mom. <laughs> and that was a that was a sweet experience. I love the bar scene, man. It's just it's great. You get you get you get bumped, you get shoved, and you know that's that's awesome because I'm starved for human contact. <laughs> like, people are really nice. Sometimes they'll even share their drinks with your shoes. <laughs> But I've got to say, my favorite thing about bars is the bouncers. The bouncers just, mm, they get me right here. Because I appreciate anyone who can kick my ass and chooses not to. <laughs> like, I was leaving the bar the other night, and, and a bouncer said to me, have a nice night, when he could have just as easily punched me in the face. <laughs> and, um... And yeah, and, and so you try not to piss them off, and you know, you, 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 I'm new to this, so I'm, I'm still learning the rules, but apparently the stairs are off limits for people standing still. You can stand still anywhere you want, outside the bathroom, you know, on the dance floor, whatever, but if you want to stand still on the stairs, uh-uh, that's, that's a no-no. That's like the fucking, the fucking bridge that the trolls guard. They put it's like, all ye who dare ask the stairs, bet, uh, bet it's not fucking uh, Terry. <laughs> Lest ye fall victim to the bridge trolls, who'll ask you riddles and make you work in the diamond mines. <laughs> So, you know, I got, I got, you know, shoved onto a flight of stairs because I'm weak. And I'm standing there because, hey, there's no one here. This is nice. I've discovered this secret place where no one goes. And then I feel this meatloaf-sized hand on my shoulder. And this, this breath just thick with beer and sexual frustration in my ear. You better give me one good fucking reason why you're standing on my stairs. I looked at this, this, this mountain of a man. I looked him up and down and I said, Sir, you may be bigger than me. You may be stronger than me. You may have every right to these stairs, but I have something you don't have. Dibs. <laughs>